Hello, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a static IP address in Server 2012 R2. It's a very simple thing. Um, if you're using your Server 2012 within an internal LAN or so, you'd basically have your own numbers created, the IP address for it, be it version 4 or version 6. Um, if you're using your server connected to the internet and you basically have your own static IP address that you purchased or etc you'd be inputting that okay um how this is going to be done is we're going to assume we're basically working for a LAN and we're going to have this thing within a LAN and we're going to set it up that way okay the simplest thing is go to the screen the start screen and type in network and sharing center okay it'll find it itself just click on that Okay, this is your network setting. Click on that. Click on properties. IP version 4 we're going to deal with today, but it's almost the same thing, just a bigger number and a hex format. Okay, click on properties. Okay, use the following IP address. This is what makes it your own IP address, your own static IP address. It'll always use that. Okay. Um, we're on the LAN. I'm using my own little numbers that I like for this setting. Okay, subnet mask. The default gateway is basically what's coming through from my, in this case, it's a Wi-Fi modem. Okay, which is the same as above almost. Okay, preferred DNS. For now, or in the future experiment, I want to basically configure my own DNS server on here with forwarding going outwards. So for that, I'm going to be giving it the current IP address of this server, 10.1.1.15. And if you look over here, right now I'm connected to the internet. Okay, this is a live thing, and we're in Hyper-V. It's basically running off Windows 2008. And here we have internet over here. And over here, it's connected. By changing this DNS address to a DNS server that has not been set up yet, you'll see this go out in a minute. Close. Close. Oh, there we go. We don't have connection to the internet anymore. Okay. But we have a static IP address. What we need to do at this point is basically go back in here. Go to properties and I'll show you, just so you believe me, I'll give an alternative DNS. It's 8888. Okay, that is Google, believe it or not, Google's public DNS. Okay, close. In a minute, we should have something. Hopefully. Dun dun dun. Uh, let's just reset it on the main thing over here. I'll just switch off this internet, switch it back on. And there we go. Bingo. It needed that reset. Okay, if we go over here, you'll see the IP address. There we go. It's that. It's because I've given... Google's DNS, it's actually able to find things on the internet, and that's why we're now connected in a normal way. Okay, I'm going to remove this, as this is not really needed anymore, but that's basically all it is that you need to do to set up a static IP address, the subnet mask, put the default gateway, which will be your modem, or the router, etc., etc. Okay, thank you very much for watching.